This is Rick Cassells from exercisesfringes.com and Fix My Back Pain. What I want to go through in this video was how to correct an anterior pelvic tilt. So an anterior pelvic tilt, and Orsi will demonstrate, is you know normally in the back is we want a nice neutral back, so a little curve in the back, and your pelvis ends up being in, in neutral. Now with an anterior tilt, your pelvis ends up going anterior, the curve in your lower back ends up increasing and what that ends up doing is it ends up putting unnecessary stress on your lower back. Other things that end up happening is with this anterior tilt there's a, there's a good chance that your hip flexors end up being tight. So what we need to end up working on to correct that anterior tilt is to stretch out those hip flexors, work on the, the rectus abdominis or six pack in a safe way and then we need to work on the hamstrings and glutes in order to bring that pelvis back to neutral. So we'll get Orsi to demonstrate the first exercise that I'll end up getting you which is a hip flexor stretch. So you're nice and upright, what Orsi is doing is tightening the abdominal area, moving the hips forward and looking for a light stretch in the front of the hips. Um, I'm looking at holding that stretch for 20 seconds and I'm looking at doing it uh, twice on each side. So I've loosened up those hip flexors and then the next thing I'm going to end up doing is moving into doing the second exercise which Orsi will demonstrate. So loosening up those hip flexors that'll help bring the pelvis uh, back which is what we want. And then if we end up working on that rectus abdominis, what I get Orsi to do is a curl up. And doing a curl up ends up being a safe way of working that six pack with low load on the back. So Orsi ends up having one leg straight, one knee bent, one hand under the low back, and one hand in behind the head. And what Orsi is gonna do is curl up and come back down. So all the work ends up happening in that, that six pack erectus abdominis area. She's gonna end up doing a set of 10 repetitions and what she can do is end up progressing to two to three sets of 10 repetitions, nice and controlled. Moving from this, what she, and with what ends up happening with this, if we tighten up that rectus abdominis, that ends up helping bring that pelvis back and bring her back more into neutral. And the next exercise I'm gonna get Orsi to do is she's gonna end up moving into a bridge. So both knees are bent, hands are to the side, tighten the stomach, and she's gonna bring the hips up until her knees, hips, and shoulders are in alignment. She's gonna hold that top position for a second and then come back down. And what I'm gonna get her to do in, in good slow controlled movement, and then I'm gonna end up getting her to go through one set of 10 repetitions. And what this ends up doing is it ends up tightening up those glutes and the hamstrings, also helping to bring that pelvis back. So there you go, end up giving, if you end up having an anterior tilt in that pelvis, work on, give those three exercises a go, loosen things up with a hip flexor stretch, work on uh, targeting that rectus abdominis, and then work on tightening up and working that hamstring and glute area. So this is Rick Cassells from exercisesforinjuries.com and fix my back pain saying take care and bye-bye.